Okay. Best ending ever, right? I mean, Ryan Murphy really outdid himself. And that's me if this ending was anything but what we got. My goodness, what a horrible ending, right? So before we get into this, if you've been with me and you've been watching my videos from the first episode of Red Tide to the finale of Death Valley here, I appreciate you. Thank you. If you're new here to the channel, subscribe, turn that notification bell. We talk more than just American Horror Story. We talk all the stuff in pop culture that's popping and you're probably watching any of that. So make sure you tune in because get into it. And I really appreciate you clicking this video because I need to have a little rant. So, I mean, did I expect any different on Twitter? I even said I am expecting nothing from Ryan Murphy for a finale for American Horror Story. And this is not the same me that was watching American Horror Story Red Tie when it first premiered. That um, nerd round back then was thinking, my goodness, Ryan Murphy's just about to pull off one of the best American Horror Story seasons ever. And I cannot wait and flash forward to today. And I'm just like, Ryan Murphy, what are you doing? So pretty much Red Death Valley just followed the whole Eisenhower dilemma with the aliens trying to get a deal and then pretty much saying that now they want to make a new species and then pretty much because their species is going down and Eisenhower agrees to this because hey we give you this we get cool tech okay and pretty much we see JFK we see Nixon and all of that go through this by the end of this episode we see Eisenhower has died and he feels regret for everything he's done he feels like he gave earth on a silver platter to these aliens that are just going to come and take it over Mamie Eisenhower feels a little different at the beginning of the episode but by the end of it she feels the same way as well so pretty much Nixon also has to be the one to resign because the aliens explain that they are doing wars in order for people to be sort of distracted and not know the truth and not really see what the aliens are doing. Nixon isn't for it, but they make him resign after a little uh, probing. That's what we'll call it. So um, pretty much where we start here is just like Ryan Murphy went on like google looked up top conspiracy theories and was like i'm gonna put every single one of these theories in my episode and just do this because that's exactly what it feels like some like kid in high school or something's looking these up and it's just like amazed by all of them and then just throws them into the show so that's what ryan murphy does here we have everything here reptilians all that stuff and the reptilians are also here apparently wanting earth as well so when we skip to the present time, we see that they are actually hunting down the alien that came out of the guy in the last episode that attacked the two guys. And they finally find it, shoot it down, and the basic leader sort of uh, scientist alien here is just like, yeah, why'd you kill this one? And they kill the officers that did this. We then see the other two girls, your home girl here, um, Mrs. Crawford's daughter, come out and be like, where is... Our friends and they're looking for them and they find them at the moon place where they fake the moon landing as they say and then they pretty much see that they have been killed and then they go into labor the scientist aliens like let's see one of you two is going to produce this perfect specimen the other friend ultimately gives birth first but that is not a good specimen so they kill the specimen and they and they kill the, the friend they then go to Miss Crawford's daughter and they're just like, you're going to give the perfect specimen. And ultimately she does. This is a perfect specimen and they are excited. This is what they've been working for 60 years. Hoorah. Well, it doesn't mean that this girl's going to live. They actually kill her by taking off her head and putting a machine head on her because they just want to use her body as a basic machine to give birth to the alien babies, whatever. So Mamie is actually here in the present time still because she chose to live forever. So they sent her to Area 51 where she has been living her days. She's become friends with Calico. And then pretty much when they announced that the person... Per when they announce that the perfect specimen has been born, they basically are like, yeah, that means all the humans are going to die now because we're going to repopulate the earth ourselves and fix it up. That's what Cody Fern's character tells her. She pretty much feels betrayed by all of this. He's like, well, you get to live, so don't worry about it. She's like, wait, what about the reptilians? They're out there too. Shouldn't we worry about them? And he's like, no, we decided to keep the earth together. They'll do their thing. We do our thing. And y'all get the hell out of our way. And then... This is pretty much her just trying to figure out what to do now. So she tries to stage a rebellion with Calico 
and they're like the only way we're gonna survive this is if we kill that perfect like human body that's giving birth to the aliens that way they have to start over and it gives us some time maybe humanity will figure out what's going on and so they try to do this because Mamie has talked to the lead alien scientists as well and informed them what's going on and they are going to do this so the lead scientist alien eventually takes them to the body and is like okay let's see what you're going to do and so Mamie is about to kill this specimen and then she is stopped by the alien scientist who's like do you really think I was going to do this and she eventually is like yeah y'all had your chance you've been destroying the earth blah 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 and now this is what's going to happen to you you're going to be taken out of the picture and so Kaliko joins with the alien after she talks to her and they eventually kill Mamie. They give birth to the new specimen and then that's pretty much where we are here. They say that this is the start of something new and end credits. I was there y'all like watching the TV. I thought we were going to see a little bit something more but no that's just how it ends. It just ends with them calling it the perfect specimen and that's it like I think that this is a very rushed part of this whole season. I feel like Ryan Murphy was like doing Red Tide and then out of nowhere he's like, oh my god, conspiracy theories, I want to put them into the show as well. And stop Red Tide and just was like, we're going to do a double feature and do this. And yeah, that's that's my theory on how they could have possibly thought this was such a good idea to do because this is definitely the worst season, the worst finale ever in all of American Horror Story. Um, and I wasn't expecting much, right? Like, as I said, uh, by the time the last episode came on, when they didn't get to anything connecting towards Asylum or Kit or anything like that, I was just like, yeah, I really doubt they're going to try and do anything for the finale. I mean, you can watch my older videos where I thought Red Tie was going to come into this in some shape, way, or form. And I was just so let down when I saw this. There was nothing about Red Tie. There was nothing about Asylum really in there. Mentioning of Kid or all of that. Even though it's basically the same thing. And I'm pretty sure the show people are going to be like, well, we don't have to fit, like say it's for it. No, no, no. That's just lazy in my opinion to do that. Um, especially when you're hyping something so much, right? And like I've said many times before, I know sometimes it can be us as fans that ruin these things for ourselves because we hype it up, we pump it, we're just over here making all of these like theories, possibilities and all of that, which is still awesome I think because I very much so enjoyed making these videos um, for the season run and seeing everybody who would reply and seeing their uh, thoughts, their comments on what they thought was going to happen. I did enjoy that aspect of it. So I guess in a way we can thank Ryan Murphy for bringing community together, right? But at the end of the day, he is here to make a show and a show that feels good. Not a show that starts off strong and eventually just dwindles and dwindles and just like a fire in a trash can, right? At the end of it is what it felt. So that's our ending. I don't know what to say to you. I wish there was more to it. I wish there was more connections like we all were anticipating. But this is what we got. This is how it ends. Um, it's kind of funny as well. Um, just me there waiting for something to happen. And then it's just the credits roll. And I'm just like, okay, that's, that's it. That really is it. There's nothing more to it, right? So I don't know what else to say. Um... As I said, Red Tide should have been its own thing. Red Tide also started off strong. I think that this uh, Death Bally thing would have been more interesting if it was just set in the past as well. And if they maybe gave it two more episodes or if he just condensed it into a smaller episode that fit with American Horror Stories, like part one, part two. That's what it feels like. Like it was supposed to be meant for that. And then Red Tide should have been its own thing. But I mean, I'm not the writer here, right? So I will be making a video tomorrow just expressing how I think they should have done the finale, the whole season, all of that in a better way. So if you want to check that out, I highly suggest you do because I'm definitely going to be doing that as I said uh, in previous videos when I found out that they probably weren't going to go the way I thought they would. So stay tuned for that video and if y'all enjoy that, tell Ryan Murphy to hire me. Get me on that writer's room and I'll make y'all a good American Horror Story season. But as always, yeah, that's it. 
um, there's still some other good shows for y'all to watch if you are interested in watching stuff. I am currently watching uh, Chucky. It's pretty good. I think some of the episodes are on YouTube for free on Sci-Fi's channel if you want to check them out. I also am watching American Crime Story, which is far, far beyond better than what we've seen from American Horror Story these last couple weeks. I'm watching What We Do in the Shadows. That's also on FX. It's very funny. And yeah, that's currently what I'm watching. Also, Why the Last Man on Hulu. Even though it got canceled, I do feel it's going to find a home pretty soon. So we'll see about that. So yeah, there's still, still a lot of good stuff. I'll be making videos on all, everything I am watching as well. I will be making a video on horror movies that I watch generally the week of Halloween, probably on Friday, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this finale. Are you bummed or what? <laughs> let me know. Um, yeah, that's going to do it. Make sure you comment down below your favorite horror movie. I am doing a video next week on all of the uh, comments I've received as well for everybody's favorite horror films. And I'm just going to make a big list of movies for everybody to watch, so stay tuned for that. But as always, that is going to do it for me. Check out the video on the left if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Yeah, American Horror Story. Let us down again. But as always, stay safe, stay positive.